All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving out all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak, Quadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yeshurada that rule well. And salutations to you, Achim, out there in the highways and the byways, preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. And, you know, we're just going to make a, a, a quick video, a, a, a response to uh, the video you see, you uh, brothers see on the screen, man. You know, why people uh, debunk Hebrew Israelites. And it's basically a video, a whole compilation of our Edomites, you know, so-called white people, proving and, and, and that, 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 that the so-called Negroes, uh, uh, Latinos, and Native Americans are, are uh, the real Israelites, you know? Well, I mean, mo most of them are saying that it's so-called Negroes, but hey, it's also the so-called Latinos and Native Americans, man, you know? The, 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 all of us are, are one nation, man. That's the nation of, of, of Israel. You know, so uh, <clears throat> the first uh, first time I get this, this is uh, Psalm sixty four and eight. It says, "So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away." Man, and that's that's what we've been seeing uh, 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 lately, man. More and more Edomites, man. More and more heathens are starting to come to the conclusion, like, damn, these guys are right. These guys are the real Israelites, man. And and a lot of them are are, are, are doing research, you know. But we're not, we're not telling them to put out these videos. We're not we're not doing anything like that. They're doing their own research and they they're actually putting two and two together. And it all comes down to what that we are the real Israelites, man. That the Bible speaks of, you know. And then, and, uh, you you do see more. If more uh, Edomites making videos uh, explaining that you know the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans are the real Israelites, the descendants of, of uh, you know Yashrael, Israel, man. All right, you see that more and more. All right, because you know basically uh, Deuteronomy 28, you know it says uh, for a sign and for a wonder. You know, like yeah. these are the signs that. You know, in the latter times that, you know, whoever fits these curses, you know, these are is, are the children of Israel, man. Yep. 46. Like, you read, you read the whole chapter and you, you're like, I wonder what nations uh, could fit this, this uh, particular curses, man. All right? Because, uh. Obviously, we're looked at as the the bottom of yeah. all nations, when we're really the the best, the best of all nations. And you wonder why we're in the state that we're in, and it all explains it in that chapter alone. Right. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna get what you quoted. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. You know. And 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 then only only we can fit uh, uh uh that all the curses that that the scriptures talk about, man. You know, hey, us being hidden in the prison houses, you know, us uh, uh hey, our our women, you know, being straight out of order, man. You know, not not caring for their husband, not caring for their children. You know, hey, evil eye towards our brother. You know, hey, the the gangs. You know, all that, man. You know, hey, uh, us being the uh, always being the borrower. And always, you know, uh, asking for help from these other nations. You know, a hey, slavery. You know, because it wasn't only the so-called Negroes that went to slavery, man. Hey, the first ones that actually went to slavery was was uh, uh, the so-called, yeah, uh, Native American. The so-called, uh, the, the the indigenous people of, of, of this land, man, of the Americas. Those were the first ones that actually went into slavery. You know, and then they brought the, the, the so-called Negroes, man. You know? And that only happened to one nation, man, at, at, at that a scale, man. You know, they call it, what, the triangular slave trade? You know? No, nobody else fit these curses, man. If, if you can't accept it, you, hey, you're just being a demon, man. You know? It's Isaiah 25, verse 7. It's Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7. It says, and, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people, 
and the veil that is spread over all nations. And that's that's what's going on. The, uh, the Lord is uh, 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 putting his spirit upon all flesh. You know what I'm saying? These Edomites are, are, are having uh, dreams about their destruction. You know, they, they're recognizing that the, the real Hebrew Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Puerto Ricans, you know what I'm saying? And that there are some that look, uh, uh, that are Israelites that look like them, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the, pretty much the, the veil that Esau Edom has put upon all nations and stuff is being lifted up for the real truth to bring, the, to come out, man. You know? Come on, I got one. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 27. It says, it says, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. And what's that deceit? This deceit, the deceitful lies that the so-called white men and all the other heathens have uh, propagated are right, telling us that we're just black, telling us that we're just Native American, so-called uh, uh, Mexican, Puerto Rican, etc. And uh, them not telling us that we're the children of Israel. So that deceit in this time is being put out. How and why? By this truth, the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, which they can't do anything against, because as as we started the lesson, you've seen that even Edomites and uh, uh, the other nations are telling us that we're the children of Israel. So you can't do nothing against the truth. The truth is gonna uh, it flourish, like it says in the scripture, verse twenty eight. It says, "As for faith, it shall flourish; corruption shall be overcome, and the truth with ha which hath so long been, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared." And that's what's being declared on the planet: the truth of who the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, all right? And that truth is that they are the children of Israel by blood, all right? It tells you, like he went into Deuteronomy, it tells you that the, the, the curses would be upon us for a sign, all right? The, uh, those curses don't fit any other people but the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So that's this is the truth being established on the earth again, which is prophecy. Yep. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Matthew 24 and 14. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come man you know and, and that's another proof of how, how we're at the end you know it's not a coincidence that that all these uh, uh prophecies are being manifested at a at a at a, at a heavy rate and then i don't know where you 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 also have these edomites uh confessing that hey the, 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 like the brother said man all those lies that isa uh, uh, has been pushing for for centuries man Hey, now they're they're being quenched, man. They're being put out. You know, Pe people are starting to uh, to actually be like, oh shit, hey, yeah, hey, hey, you could even see the fear in the Edomites, like, oh shit, we we touched the Lord's people, like, oh fuck, you know. One of the guys was saying, hey, we you know we we gotta we gotta basically you know get right with these people, man. You know. Ain't no getting right, man. <laughs> Ain't no way to repay what you did, man. Right. But they show you the the, the fear that they're in, man. Yeah. You know. brother was saying man for the fact that you have all these Edomites you know what I'm saying these heathens recognizing this stuff and doing videos on who the uh, real Israelites are hey, that's the scripture where it says that uh, the heathens shall entreat with thee you know you see a lot of heathens out here trying to give food and coffee to the homeless the homeless jakes that still uh, homeless till this day and stuff you know what I'm saying trying to be nice all they can because why because they hoping to receive uh, 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 some sort of merciful judgment even though they know that they're going to receive the, the harshest judgment out of all the heathens this is Isaiah chapter 47 verse 1 it says come down and sit in the dust O virgin daughter of Babylon sit on the ground there is no throne O daughter uh, of the Chaldeans but thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate because uh, 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 America has uh, 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 always robbed, raped, robbed and pillaged every single country they came in contact with but it never been touched, so they finna be touched soon. Verse 2, it says, Take the millstone and grind meal, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover thy, uh, the thigh, and pass over the river. So all this truth is uh, uh, lifting up that skirt, man, mm -hmm. letting you know that this place is full of diseases, man. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the truth is the, uh, the the healing, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the medicine, man. You know, from, from, from Jake being uh, intertwined with this uh, uh, poisonous way of life, man. You know? Uh, verse 3 it says thy nakedness shall be uncovered yea thy shame shall be seen you know what I'm saying and that's exactly what's going on man everybody is finding out who the real Israelites are and everybody finding out that uh, the so called white man is the uh, adversary of the nation of Israel you know okay. hey, that's right. I got one this is Daniel chapter 12 this is 
Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. It says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end, which is the time we're in. That's why you're seeing this truth come out. It says, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. What is that knowledge? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. Being brought to you by the men of the Lord, the men of great millstone from the apostles and elder, elders on down. All right, proclaiming that we're the children of Israel by blood. All right, and through the truth, through the truth of the scriptures. All right, and that knowledge is being increased. All right, because like we said before, the, the heathens are finding out and they're telling us that we're the children of Israel. All right. So the so-called white man really has nothing to say towards this because he can't do nothing against it. We're justified in what we're saying, all right? Because everything we're doing is fitting, it's, it's fitting biblical prophecy. You see? Mm -hmm. Ah, man. Uh, uh, what the brother just read, um, you know, that these uh, scriptures and the seals and um, all this was supposed to be closed up until the times of the end, man. Mm -hmm. So, you know... You know, there had to be a time where uh, nobody could understand these scriptures, man. Right? Because all that had, had prophecy had to happen. We had to go into slavery. We had to lose our heritage. You know, we had to uh, serve our enemies for a certain time. But now you see the truth flourishing like the brother read as well. Yeah, you know, so, so everything's, you know, it's just coming to pass. Good. And you, you, you see the Israelites on the news now, man. Oh, that, that's know? heavy in itself, man. Mm -hmm. That in itself shows you, man. Hey, we're, we're almost out of here, man. You know? Hey, the, all of this proves this is the truth. We're the real na nation of Israel. And, hey, the, the, the end is nigh, man. You know? That, that whole, the, the fact that, that, that we're in the news like that, man, that, that, hey, persecution is coming, man. You know? Hey, but it's a beautiful thing, man, because that's, that's what we, we've been waiting for. You know? That also uh, ahead, further proves the uh, scripture the brother was talking about in the Matthews 24 and uh, in, the Ma in the book of Matthews 24 uh, um, that uh, uh, that the that the word uh, the first after the word we preach to the four corners of the earth then shall the end come. Yep. You know what I'm saying part of that uh, preach to the four corners of the earth is not longer not not just uh, us doing sit downs and standing on the highways and the byways but also being on the news. You know right, and, that's, and a, uh, that's that's the uh, uh, the the further pushing man. You know. Yeah, that, like if I might say, Apostle Tahar said, that's that fame coming. Yeah. All right, that's that fame All right, and, uh, that the Lord said he would give to us in the last days. He said he would give them fame. Uh, in the land where they were put to shame. Exactly. Because, yep. see, we had to go through those curses. So at the end, we could be found to be the people that fit the curses. So that's what the that's what it goes into that falling away first. All right, uh -huh. now you have Esau being revealed. It's all, it's, all, it's all happening simultaneously, and that's what the white man is afraid of. And he's hurt, you know, because it's, it's time for you to go down and it's time for the nation of Israel to rise as the Lord uh, 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 orchestrated it, man. Hey, and he can't, bro, he, he knows it, man. Yeah. He know he knows he's losing grip of the narrative, man. Mm -hmm. Now he can't control it. He never had it, the mm -hmm. narrative. This is always the narrative of y'all about to be all shy. God, right. Ultimately. The deceiver and the deceiver. <laughs> yeah, right, right, God. <laughs> nah, but, but when it comes to him pushing his lies and shit. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, right. hey, the, the, you got even Edomites, so now he can't even say anything. God. Edomites are, are agreeing with us, man. His own people. So, hey, you know, well, what, what is he going to be, be able to do, man? You know, nothing, man. Hey, the scriptures say, well, you can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. God. You know, all, all, all this is, hey, man, it's, it's, it's beautiful seeing all this, man. You know, and it's only going to increase, man. It's going to get to the point when they actually do start persecuting us. You're going to have all these other... Uh, these Edomites helping us, man. Oh shit, the children is right. Everybody, let them through. Let them through. You know. Eat a shine tree for thee, man. You know. Hey, I I had two two precepts. The first one is Mark three and twenty six. The uh to go off the point what the brother was saying about how you got uh these uh low low level Edomites and stuff uh pro proclaiming that they 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 Esau man that they that they was, uh, uh uh that they the enemy. Uh, uh, of the nation of Israel. This is Mark chapter 3, verse 26. It says, And if Satan rise up against himself 
and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. And, and, and like it says in Second Edris, uh, uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that follows, man. You know what I'm saying? That prophecy is happening because you see that the kingdom is crumbling down, and it's nothing that you can do to uh, keep it up. And, and the nation of Israel are rising and coming back to uh, coming back into remembrance in the, in, in the land of their captivities, man. Just like the scripture has said, you know. Uh, you go to Habakkuk. This is this is Habakkuk. No, I said heat. <laughs> this is Habakkuk chapter two, verse three. I uh it's it actually I'll start at verse two since you can see it on the screen. It says, uh, and Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. The prophets of old they wrote down all these visions, you know what I'm saying? And the prophets coming back, they they're the ones being able to break down the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Like it says in Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord would do nothing but reveal his secrets unto the prophets. So these things got revealed unto his true prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? Why? It says, verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it would not tarry. And you see that right before your eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it says in Isaiah 34 and 16, there's uh, none, none shall well her mate, man. Any other book ain't talk about nothing but fictional stuff, man. But the yep. Bible is coming to truth and, it, and it's showing you that it's real, man. Break the strongholds with just a book, man. Yep. Well, hey, I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna get that. This is uh, Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. No one of these shall, shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it had commanded and his spirit it had gathered, man. Hey, so, so none of it is going to fail, man. Everything the Lord said is going to happen, man. And we clearly see that, man. You know? Hey, and soon, you, hey, and soon you're going to see that, that, that wisdom of Solomon 5 and, 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 and uh, 1. You know, I believe it's through like verse four or five. You're gonna see that uh, uh, happen, man. You know, you already seen uh, us standing bold in the face of those that afflicted us, but hey, but the, now you're gonna see the salvation, man. You know, that salvation, that that, that that strange salvation that the Bible speaks of, man. That no, that no, that nobody's looking for, man. Nobody expects what's, what's about to happen, man. You know, hey, and another thing that's uh, with the chariots. How many, how many uh, videos have been popping out about chariots, man? You know? A lot of them, man. Popping up out of, out of nowhere, ten, uh, you know, teasing Esau, Esau and shit. You know? Hey, we're, we're at the end, man. And, 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 and this is only going to increase, man. You know, pe pe people are soon going to find out that we're the Israelites, man. And, and, and they're going to start uh, 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 reverencing us, you know? Hey, hey, call halal Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man. You know, because this, this is what we've been waiting for, man. You know, now the curses, hey, the curses are also falling upon our enemies. Hey, it's, 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 it's a, what a time to be alive, man. Beautiful time to be alive. You know, if nobody got anything else, I could end it with a, all right, I'm going to end it with a, what's this one? This is a. It's a locket. All right. This is a uh, Matthew thirteen and sixteen. It says, "Blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear." You know, hey, and, and that's a blessing in itself because you still got some of our people that still don't believe. Here it is. These Edomites are, are telling you, pulling out uh, 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 documents, pulling out uh, 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 artifacts, put, putting out uh, uh, all this information, telling you that we're, we're the Israelites, but then you still got niggas thinking they're they're African. Hey, that fucking coon. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Harris, some shit. Henry Davis. Henry Davis. You know. <laughs> that, hey, hey, that's a blessing though. You know. Yourself, man, if we was Africans and you know how much they made so much money on slavery, why they enslaved the entire continent, man? If they blessed them was the sword. If he saw Edom Christopher Columbus, if uh if his uh well Chris Ball Columbus, you know, Chris Ball Cologne, if if his if his blessing was the sword, 
you know what I'm saying, and they use the scriptures just to find find us. If that's the case, then why they enslave the entire continent then? If we supposed to be Africans, wouldn't that be more money? Doesn't the scripture says that his uh, uh that he uh that that he's not uh, uh he, he enlarges his desire as hell and yet still not satisfied? Why not enslave the entire continent? That would have been more money. Shows you, shows you who who are the Israelites, man. That only was supposed to happen to uh, one nation. This is verse 17. It says, For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. You know? So, hey, we're, we're in those times where, hey, uh, Elijah, uh, 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 Moses, you know, Peter, Paul, you know, all of them. Hey, Enoch. Enoch, Enoch prophesied about about Yahweh Shai coming in, in the chariots, man. You know, it tells you, I believe, in, in I think, in the book of Jude or John. Jude. The book of Jude. It tells you that, man. So everything that 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 that, that, are, that, that our righteous forefathers have desired, hey, we're living in those times, man. You know? Hey, and that's what we say, man. Hey, this is the, the, the best time to be alive, man. You know, hey, hey, f fuck all that, all that, uh, uh, uh them coming to get us and all that. Hey, let it be so, man. You know, let it be so. Hey, because after, after this, hey, our kingdom is going to be established, man. And there's, there's going to be, like the scriptures say in Revelations 21, hey, the, the Most High is going to wipe out tears from our eyes. You know, wipe out all, all this, you know, uh, uh, wickedness, all these curses, right, you know, uh, Matthews, suffering. Matthew's the fifth chapter. Uh, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the poor. Right? Yeah. Um, you know they sh they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. Yeah. Because we're the ones at the bottom, and the the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly, man. You know. Hey, but but with that, you know, I hope your brother were edified. You know, hey, hey, let the persecution come, man. You know, let it be so, man. Cause hey, right after that, hey, we got this, man. And then we could fucking stick our foot up Esau's ass, man, and all these other nations. All these other nations that, that fucked us over. You know? And with that, I want to give all praises and glory See to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Quarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yasharala that rule well. And salutations to you, Achim, out there in the highways and the byways, preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Ababa.